Γεια σας. This is the Greek Reporter Weekly News. Greece will announce an investment worth 4 billion euros, that is 5.2 billion dollars in March, under a plan to inject liquidity into Greece's economy, according to the Athens news agency, citing economy and competitiveness minister Michaelis Hoshoidis. The minister also said that talks with the European Investment Bank would begin about allocating another 2 billion euros for investments. Three cases of the flu H1N1 have been confirmed in Greece this year, as the state television channel NET reported last week. The three cases of the flu, also known as swine flu, have been located on one of the Cyclades islands. It has not been yet revealed whether the patients are Greeks or tourists. Scientists are reassuring, stressing that three cases were not enough to hit alarm. In the US, Thousands of religious pilgrims and spectators attended the 105th celebration of the Epiphany on January 6th in Tarpon Springs. Millions more watched on television. During the liturgy, Archbishop Demetrius threw the Holy Cross into the water and young men and women dove to retrieve it. Louis Papas, grandson of the famous Jack Louis Papas of Papas Restaurants, held up the cross in triumph this year. Papas was one of the 78 young people who jumped into Spring Bayou. On to Hollywood. House and Greek-American director Greg Yaitanis won People's Choice Awards. House won in the Favorite TV Doctor category, while Hugh Laurie was the winner of the Favorite TV Drama Actor. The show was also voted as the best TV drama. Greek-American director Greg Yaitanis is the executive producer and director of House in seasons 6 and 7. He is considered one of the best TV creators of his time. In Canada, a fire caused serious damage to a well-known Greek eatery in Montreal last week. According to a spokesperson for the fire department, the Brochetterie Alexander, located on Dulles Street near Chateaubriand, went up in flames around 7:50 a.m. 30 firefighters were called in to extinguish the blaze, which damaged both levels of the Greek restaurant. The cause of the fire was due to faulty wiring. Fortunately, no one was injured. On to Australia now. Hundreds of Greeks in Australia are desperate and hopeless. They have witnessed their homes and properties being destroyed by unprecedented floods. The president of the Greek community of Rockhampton and priest Dimitris Takas stated that many Greeks of Queensland are hopeless as they have lost their homes. Greeks of Townsville have also suffered a lot of damages. A Greek Australian woman has posted a Byzantine icon titled "The Madonna and Child" on her local eBay classified section, asking the price of $245,000. The woman who wishes to remain anonymous claims that she was given the icon along with another two of similar origin when she was born. The icon is believed to have belonged to her family for many generations and was guarded closely throughout the Ottoman invasion and occupation of Constantinople in 1453. It was eventually smuggled out of Constantinople in the 1800s. On to Turkey. An endangered Greek dialect, Romaica, spoken in northeastern Turkey, was discovered by a Greek professor of linguistics at Cambridge University, Dr. Ioana Sitaridou. The language has been identified by researchers as a linguistic goldmine because of its startling similarities to the ancient language. Dr. Sitaridou noted the significance of Romaica following fieldwork in the area around Trabzon, Trapezunda, on Turkish Black Sea coast. The 5,000 Romaica speakers left in the area are devout Muslims and were therefore exempt from the large-scale population exchange between Greece and Turkey that took place in 1923. The ultimate aim of Dr. Sitaridou's research is to explain how Pontic Greek evolved. For more news and updates, visit GreekReporter.com. I personally want to wish you a very happy new year, and remember. Greeks are everywhere.